Welcome back to Miss Eddie's Math Movies, where it's a cute to be a square. Today's lesson is 7.1, Ratios and Proportions. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to use ratios and proportions. To use ratios and proportions, we better understand the vocabulary. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers using division. There's a couple different ways you can write this. So you can write it as A over B. That's using, that's how it looks more like division. But you can also write this as A colon B or A to B. Like the ratio of boys to girls. Maybe 7 to 10. 7 to 10, 7 to 10. There's an example. A proportion is an equation in which two ratios are equal. Alright, so that looks something. Here's one ratio equal to another ratio. Alright, B and C are called the means. So these are the means. And A and D are called the extremes. And we're going to talk about what you can do with the means and the extremes. But these all stand for numbers. All right, so let's get some practice in here on ratios and proportions. Simplify the ratio, 60 centimeters to 200 centimeters. So let's see, that's another way to write a ratio. We can also write it as division. That's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna put 60 over 200. Now we just need to simplify this. It's like reducing a fraction. So what goes into both 60 and 200? Well, 20 does. And you don't have to pick 20. You can pick 10 or 2. It just might take longer. So we're going to divide by 20. Divide by 20. 60 divided by 20 is 3. And 200 divided by 20 is 10. Can we go any further? Does anything go into 3 and 10? No. So we've simplified it as much as possible. Now in letter B, we have 3 feet and 18 inches. And the first thing we have to do is get these units to be alike. So we need to turn, I think we should turn this into inches. Let's get this top to be in inches. Well, how many inches are in 3 feet? Well, each foot is 12 inches. So let's say here's a foot, here's a foot, here's a foot. So here's 12 inches, 12 inches, and 12 inches. So 3 times 12, that's going to give us 36 inches on the top. And we want to keep the bottom as it is so that our units will cancel. Write a ratio, we need to keep those units the same. Now we need to simplify. Well, what goes in to 13, which is 16 and into 18? Well, let's say you realize, okay, 2. We'll just take it easy this time. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Oh, we can keep going further. 9 goes into both of these. 18 divided by 9 is 2. 9 divided by 9 is 1. So our ratio is 2 to 1. 3 feet to 18 inches is the same thing as 2 to 1. Using ratios. All right. In the diagram, AB to BC is 4 to 1. All right, so we're going to write this. This is 4 times something, and this is 1 times something. I don't know what that something is yet. That's what we're going to figure out. So what do we know? We know these two together have to make 30. The whole thing is 30. So 4 plus 1x equals 30. 4x plus 1x, right? Look at that. 4x plus 1x equals the whole thing of 30. So 5x equals 30. 
divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals 6. But we're not done, because look, the question wants us to find a, b, and b, c. So we need to take this and plug it back in. So a, b is 4x, so 4 times 6 is 24, and b, c was just x, which is 6. So does that make sense? If this is 24 and this is 6, is 24 plus 6 30? Yep. And does this make a ratio of 4 to 1? Is 24 over 6 equal to 4 over 1? Yep, we divide both of these by 6. So we did this problem right. 24 and 6. Now we're going to apply this to a rectangle. The perimeter of our rectangle is 80 feet. The ratio of the length to the width is 7 to 3. Find the length of the width. Okay. So let's draw a rectangle. The ratio of the length to the width is 7 to 3. So we're going to have to multiply this by something and this by something. So we're going to call this 7x, this 3x. I don't know what x is yet. We're going to figure that out. But we know that all the way around is 80. So we're going to write an equation to help us solve that. So 7x plus 3x plus, so we go 7 plus 3 plus 7x plus 3x. All the way around is 80. That's our equation. So now how many x's is this? Well, 7 plus 3 is 10. 17, 20. 20x 20 equals 80. So that means x is equal to 4. All right, let's see if we can figure all this out. Now, now we need to find the length and the width. The length and the width. Okay, well, the length was 7x and the width was 3x. So 7 times 4 is 28, and 3 times 4 is 12. Does that work? Should we check that and see, make sure that works? First, let's check the ratio. What is 28 over 12? Well, I could divide this by 2, and I could divide this by 2, and that's 14 over 6. I can keep going and divide that by 2 and divide that by 2 and I get 7 over 3. 7 to 3. 7 to 3. That's perfect. So we got the right ratio. Now let's see if our perimeter makes 80. So we said this was 28, this was 21, this was 28, and this was 21. Let's add all those up and see if this works. So I'll get my calculator. 28 plus 21 plus 28 plus 21. Oh, I meant 12. I'm sorry. 12. Got dyslexic there. Let's try that again. 28 plus 12 plus 28 plus 12. 80. There we go. That's what we wanted. My bad. So we did this correct. So I can fill these blanks in if you want. So we know the ratio is 7 to 3. We got the length 7x. We called the width. 3x. To go all the way around, that was 20x. Which left us with 4. So then we plugged everything in. The length was 7x, so we did 7 times 4 is 28. The width was 3x, so we did 3 times 4 is 12. And our final answers were 28 and 12. Which is exactly what we did over here. Oh, we already did that. We did that on the page before. So no need to worry. Right? We did 2 times 28 and 2 times 12. And that makes 80, which is perfect. That's what we wanted the perimeter to be 80. All right, you're going to do the checkpoints now. This is like example 1. And this is like example 2.
and we'll check those in class. Make sure you draw a picture down here and you label using this ratio, label your picture. Now to solve a proportion, you probably did this in algebra one, but to solve a proportion, you multiply the products, I mean the means, and you multiply the extremes. So you do A times D is equal to C times B, equal to the product of the means. So let's apply this. Let's make sure you really understand how this works. So to solve this proportion, we multiply the means and we multiply the extremes. All right, so we do five times six. Here we go, five times six is equal to three times y plus two. Now we have to remember how to simplify this correctly. We need, we know five times six is 30. No, we cannot forget to distribute that three. Three times y is three y. Three times two is six. Now we subtract six from both sides. Minus six. Okay, 24 equals three y. Divide by three. Eight is equal to y. Now let's check that to see if we like that. 5 over 3, is that really equal to 8 plus 2 over 6? Let's see. 8 plus 2 over 6 is 10 over 6. And if we simplify 10 over 6, if we divide top and bottom by 2, we get 5 over 3. Perfect, that's what we want. We want 5 over 3 to equal 5 over 3. So the answer was right. 8 is equal to y. All right, you're going to do these now. We'll check them. You're going to cross multiply. This times this is equal to this times this. All right, means equals product of the extremes. This is m cubed signing out.